Today's subject matter, because it's always something different on this channel, as you guys probably have figured out by now. We're going to do something a little out of the box. So, as you guys know, I've got some e-bikes, I've got some motorcycles, I've got some scooters, we've got the Suron, we've got the Ducati, we've got the Aerox, really a lot of cool stuff to play around with. We've got scooters outside, more e-bikes all over the place. Anyway, today we're going to be focusing on this bad boy because I've decided to do something a little different with it. Um, as you know, e-bikes are bicycles that are motorized, so it's kind of like a redundant thing where if you don't want to pedal, you can use the motor. If you don't want to use the motor, you can pedal it like a normal bike, but this bike's a little heavy to do that. This bike is about, I don't know, 75 pounds or so, and Honestly, I enjoy the ergonomics of this bike as almost as if it's a motorcycle. So I'm going to do something different. I'm going to make my e-bike into a motorcycle. Uh, what are we going to be doing is we're going to be removing the bicycle parts of this the crank uh the the spur gear whatever you call that and then the uh the the back gears the cassette back there the, the change or all that we're going to get rid of all that and i'll show you how i plan to do that we got our bike tools here this is so we can take off the cassette this is so we can break the chain Here's to pull the cranks off, and I'm gonna replace the cranks with these pegs. We'll see how they fit on there. It should work. I'm gonna give it a give it a shot. They're gonna go kind of like right in there. Uh, you know, again, this is not typical, so I'm not expecting it to go 100% smooth, but I've never done it before, and I think that it would be an interesting project to, uh, to make this bike just a little bit lighter, a little simpler. And I don't know, I'll enjoy it more. And that's the whole idea behind this hobby. Do it for you, not for someone else. But I am gonna do this video for you guys. So that is someone else, so, whoops. Here you can see we've got our crank removal tool. Let's just install this bad boy. Get your wrench on one side here. And then tighten that sucker down. And she'll come off. Got it pretty much done here. Let's see if we can get this. One hand. There we go. Boom. That comes off, and then we'll break this chain to get it out from the swing arm here. Got your chain breaker here. We've already got that out. Let's see, doing this all with one hand. So I'm too lazy to go get my tripod. And I feel like I won't need it. <laughs> Let's see. There we go. So that gets the chain off. So now we'll be able to pull that through and get that out of there. All right, we got our, these pegs on here. I'll figure out a better way to mount these. I mean, they're on there, but they the crank spins, obviously. So I'm going to get something that goes in here. It takes up this space, so it locks in as it tightens up. But other than that, that's going to be about the right foot position. As you can see, that's going to work out really well. So now we'll move on to removing the gear changer here, as well as the linkage and this thing. Here we got the cassette off, as you can see. That's using this strap tool and uh, my little trusty cassette socket. So now this has got a clean slate here. We're gonna go ahead and put this back together and just see how the whole thing kind of goes, goes together. Let's see, looking good so far. All right, so we've got everything kind of tidied up here. I put some spacers in here that grab the bar or grab these pegs so they're nice and tight. Both sides, another spacer here. We're leaving the pedal assist sensor in place because it's not going to do anything it's just plugged in not a big deal and you can see the handlebars 
cleaned way up without that uh without that gear indicate or a uh, gear selector in there so we'll tighten up these wires a little bit put them back in the loom and we should be ready to test of course it's raining out so i'm not going to be able to go out for a ride but i'm excited about this this is like kind of what i was envisioning it's it's more of like a motorcycle now uh, and, I, and I'm, I'm okay with that this thing's fast enough or it will be fast enough i should say after i get done with it but this thing's fast enough uh to to to, to hold its own without having to worry about the pedals and stuff range is pretty good i don't go very far 20 miles is like my maximum that i go and uh, this thing will go 30 easily on this battery. So rundown of mods thus far. This is a, uh, it was a 52 volt aerial rider X class and we've upgraded it to a 60 volt. Uh, the battery has been rebuilt. This is a 60 volt battery now. Um, I also have been working with the original manufacturer for the speed controller and they set me up with a custom unit this is a 60 volt unit now. Um, I'm gonna be doing some tuning with it, some testing to see what kind of gains we get out of it with the 60 volts um, using this new controller. The controller should give me some more current. We should be able to go from, uh, I think it was 35 amps. I think we're gonna go up to about 45 or maybe even 50 amps, as well as um, just a couple of other easy to use features that will be on board in the tuning. So stay tuned for that. But I'm really excited about this as, as, a, as a mini project, I guess is the best way to put it. Uh, this, this bike is really cool. It's a really cool bike as it is. And uh, you don't need to do all this to, to get it to, in order to, to enjoy it and have fun. But like I said, I've got a bunch of different options in the house. So I wanted something a little bit different. This is a, I'm gonna call this an ultra light motorbike or ultra light e-bike. Not a bicycle, but a motorcycle. So um, it was a bicycle, <laughs> but we got rid of that stuff. And uh, hey, other than the typical uh, commutes that I do, I'm not too worried about it. This is this is a real simple setup. It's gonna it's gonna answer some questions for me. And uh, I know this is not for everyone. So uh, believe me, I know a lot of people out there are gonna be like, "Oh my God, you ruined it! It was a cool e-bike." still cool for me and again you do this stuff for yourself don't do this stuff for other people so uh stay tuned we got a lot more on this but there it is the other thing i forgot to mention that i have on here is i got these four pot brakes these are the suron brakes i know some of you may have seen it in the other video but they're a direct bolt on and man they just really help out in braking also put on bigger rotors just a, a rotor i should say left the stock rear but a uh, bigger front rotor, so makes a pretty good difference. So stay tuned, again, really cool mini project, this e-motor bike, <laughs> Majig. Aerial Rider X-Class, really, really having fun with this thing. Let me know what you guys think. Let's see what we can do. My goal is to uh, see if we can get up into the 50 mile an hour range. I think that would be cool 52 miles an hour would be perfect because it's a 52 x 52 so now it won't be 52 volts it'll be 52 miles per hour that'd be a good goal we'll see another cool little update uh first of all i re rebuilt this i guess the best way to put it i put my my little reef tank on a cabinet got my filtration down here canister filter real simple setup anyway the real thing I want to tell you about is these clownfish. They are 10 years old. Unbelievable. Uh, they've been in this tank for 10 years and they have not been out of it. <laughs> they've moved with me. They've been all over uh, creation as far as they're concerned. And they're doing great. So this tank is just a rock and fish tank. It used to have some coral in here, but I had a couple of crashes. And anyway, it's, it's fine now. I'm getting my water back in check we'll probably add some more coral but what's really cool is these guys have been reproducing and unfortunately i haven't really been the greatest keeper to find these little fry little babies and, and collect them so but i mean i'll put a little video here you can see they're in the corner here 
is the remnants of where they were they laid their eggs and uh and they had they had they're reproducing they had some babies so pretty cool i think that's a good sign i think that they're healthy i think that they're happy and i'm going to continue to keep it that way so uh more to come with the fish stuff see you guys in the next one